This is the plaintiff, LaShonda Vickers. She says the defendant's kids used her 2002 Chevy Tahoe as a playground by climbing all over it, jumping up and down on it, and they damaged it. The defendants refused to take responsibility for their unruly kids. She needs a new sunroof and windshield and is suing for every penny of the $5,000 she is owed. These are the defendants, Stephanie and Naquan Mack. Stephanie says no one saw her kids on or near the plaintiff's truck, which was disabled and being stored in the backyard. The only reason she's even blaming her and her kids is because she needs her truck fixed and she needs someone to pay for it because she has no money. Bottom line, the truck was all but abandoned. There were plenty of people in and out of the backyard and neither she nor her kids owe a thing. They're accused of trucking around. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant's kids jumped up and down under Chevy Tahoe and damaged it, but the defendant says no one can finger her kids. It's the case of I can't keep on trucking. Thank you, Douglas. You're LaShonda welcome. Vickers, you are suing your neighbors Stephanie Mack, Naquan Mack, and Jerome Ford and Naquan Mack Jr. for $5,000. You say you're actually out more than that for damages to your car that you say their children did okay tell me what happened okay well i was in a car accident uh about 2012 on my old job and a little while after i had a child she was born august 6th of 2014. wow you're going way back i'm All sorry right. because that's when the, when i first parked the truck in the driveway okay so and why did you park the truck in the driveway it did was you park a, it in the driveway or did you park it in the yard in the driveway it was, well okay. it's in were did, you blocking anybody else if you weren't moving the car no Okay. No. So you live in a house? It's a four family home, yes. All right. Do other family members have cars there? No. Do you have a picture of where your car was parked? Yes. Okay. Can I see that? To show sure where it was parked. Okay. What's this a picture of? That's the front of the house. That's my truck in the driveway. Which one? This one? Yes. That okay. One. Why did you stop driving the car? Because of insurance, it was a situation with my license. And was after, that with uh, that accident you were starting to tell me about? Yeah, well, it was the Was the accident your fault? No, it was actually her sister's fault. I was in labor at the time. Whose sister's fault? Stephanie's sister. Oh, what a coincidence. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, but because what, you folks are friends? Well, me and her sister, Tracy, were friends. And she crashed a car when you were in labor? I was in labor with the baby. And we, she's driving you to the hospital? No, we were actually going to take the kids to the beach to get out the house for the summer. It was really hot. We were cooped up in the house and she was intoxicated and I didn't know. Wait, you were in labor? Oh, you mean she just had your car? Oh. She was you were in labor truck. with the baby in a hospital. No, I was in a truck with them. They, what are they, you doing in labor in a truck <laughs> on the beach with an intoxicated send, woman? They sent okay. me home. I was only two centimeters, so they kept sending me home until I, in, you know, went uh, induced further. So I, then you got in a car with a woman who had been drinking. I didn't know she was drunk. I did not I, know. Weren't you with her? No, I wasn't. Actually, we had met up. We made arrangements to meet all of us together to take so the children to the beach. So she crashes your car, but it was it her fault? It was her fault. Okay, when so she it's a crashed, financial. Stop. Did you have a financial responsibility suspension based on not paying a judgment, or did you have insurance when this happened? No, the exactly. insurance was You're canceled. You're supposed to have that. insurance, right? Yes. Right. That's your bad. That's why you can't drive your car because there's a suspension on your driver's license based on a financial responsibility violation on your part of not having insurance and not paying the judgment. So now you've paid the judgment. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And now you can drive the car. Now yeah. you want to fix the car up. The yes. car's been there how long? Like this? It's been parked since around July 2014. Okay. This is really tight. How, how do, does then anybody have to walk back there? Nobody really goes back there unless it's the kids going in the back to play. How else can the kids go in the back to play? That's the only way climbing. Well, you have truck. effectively deprived them of the ability to go into their backyard. <laughs> but that to be paying honest, for? I couldn't move it, Your Honor. My battery well, was no, dead. Well, no, you could you could pay to put it somewhere else. Well, I didn't. Well, that's have inconvenient it. as heck. But <laughs> what you did was good for you. But then the kids can't even get to the backyard. Correct. How old are the kids? 12. So she's suing the 12 year olds because according to you, what were the 12 year olds doing? I caught them jumping and like dancing around on top of my truck several times. 
Did you ever bring it to their attention when you would catch them yourself? Yes. And is that accurate? Would she come up to you and say, I just saw them on the car? No, she said that she's seen them in the back. And in the what? In the, the back. back of the building. And she knows that that's the only way that they can get through. Did she ever tell you I saw them jumping on my no, car? No, So she's she making that up right now? Yes. According to you? Nobody else used the backyard there? Mm, no. Uh, well, uh, no. Our kids, they play frequently. Kids around the way. So they was trying to get to the backyard to play. But of course, because that truck was sitting there. Right. They would what? Yes, Go they, on it? I, I don't know how. However, they had to get back there. Also, the meter reader guy, he had to get back there. He climbed over it as well. Miss, I was there when he Did came. You miss? Judge. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. sorry. It's okay. Judge, I watched him. He stood on my neighbor's gate and leaned his hands on my truck and walked across Why the gate. Why is that okay? Why is it okay for you to put something in everybody's way and then be appalled that it's people not okay? Over but I it. wasn't working. I didn't have the finances to get my truck back on the road, and I just had a child. I was already out of work due to an accident. I had okay. surgery the, and everything all that's else. Fine. That explains your situation. It doesn't explain how you go to court and sue for five grand. That, that's the part that I'm surprised about. That's the damages. And, well, it, let me see the damages. Because you have to be able to prove that every cent of that 5,000 is something done by two 12-year-olds. You understand can I, that, can right? Can I say something? Do you understand what I just said? Yes. So 12-year-old kids, are the parents automatically responsible if the kids damage somebody's property? I think absolutely. I mean, I think it's up to the parents to raise the kid correctly to not jump on someone else's car. Yeah, but kids do stuff like that, right? Yeah, but until they're able to make their own decisions, 16, 18, whatever you want to consider them as an adult, parents are liable for that. Parents are always liable? Yes, definitely. Uh, the kid, it, they're responsible for the kids, so. Okay, get your point, going inside the courtroom. So show me first the bill for over $5,000 in damages that the two 12 year olds did by, according to you now, you say that you saw them on it. Please. Okay. December 2015, I was making an effort, this is your statement, the, uh, to get my truck back on the road. I saw there was a crack on my estimate. windshield. I went to co-defendant Stephanie estimate. and showed her the estimate. damage, told her to please oh. talk to her children, tell them to stop going on top of my truck because they weren't listening to me. I am a single mother with seven children. Are you really a single mother with seven children? Yes. Are you done? Yes. Where were your kids playing? Well, my kids are right now are not there. There's my, my youngest, she's a year and a half now. She stays with me. My oldest six stay with their grandmother. I'm trying to get myself back to work and I was looking for an apartment recently. So that was my whole process. Now my mom pretty much helps me out with the kids so I can get back on my feet. Why would, how would two 12 year olds have ruined your roof headliner? Isn't that the inside? By them jumping on it. The, it, oh, the how, main, does that, uh, how does that separate the, what year is this car? It's a O2. He said the, it's a module. The frame is called a module and they broke the main frame. Can I, do you have pictures of the top of the car where I can see that it's dented? Two of the photos I sent you, one of them shows a picture of uh, a frame that's connected on the outside of the sunroof window. That frame I'm gonna hand these back to you, pull the two you want broken. me to see. Okay. Now, at some point she knocks on your door and she tells you, they've cracked my windshield, they've done this, they've done that. She tells you stuff because you offer to pay. So yeah, tell me why so that happened. To no, that. because one time in the summertime, she did, she, when I said that, she seen the kids in the backyard. She came knocking on the door and having a fit, saying that they were in the backyard and she knows that they were running across that truck to get there. That's when, that was the last, that was the first and the last time because we don't play that with our kids. We have a truck and I wouldn't want anyone to damage our truck like that. So... We had them come in the house and that was it for them. They couldn't play outside after that. She, she told me that it was $700. She said, you know, 350. She was like, so we could just go half. So I was like, okay, you know, that's fine because I know the kids was back there and everything like that. So I said, you know what? I help, I help you out with it because if it was my vehicle, I would want, you know, someone to say the same thing to me. So I was like, fine, I'll just help her out with it. Then she came to us with two estimates, one for 1400 and then the next one for 2800 So we were like, okay, wait, whoa, what's, what's all of this? What's going on? The vehicle is not even worth $3,000. Yes. So what is this? What are you showing me there? That's where the mechanic had to uh, seal it with silicone because every time it snowed or rained, the water was leaking straight through the sunroof window into yeah, my truck. Yeah, but kids don't have to be dancing on there for people to have sunroof leak problems. That happens all the time. What year is this car again? I'm sorry. It's an O2. Yeah, I mean, that happens all the time. I mean, 
What is this unit here? That's the frame that goes connected to that window on the outside that was also broken. When I went to have it checked for the water leak, he pulled that down and he said, this is broken. And that's when he looked in and he see that the module, the frame, you can't see it because it's inside. It's literally in between the front, like the, the roof of the truck. Now, so what is this to coming to them with a bill for seven, then for 14, then for 28? I didn't come to them with a bill for seven. I went back and he gave me an estimate for one with used parts. Every mechanic that I went to recommend that I do not get used parts because it's the roof and I don't want any further problems or any el anything we, else. That you not get used parts. You have a 14 year old car. Your whole car is a used part. I, I agree with him, though. Still, I don't want to get a used part from a junkyard or wherever, and then I have further problems. I have children, Why, the used too. part is going to be younger than the rest of the parts on your car. You have a 14-year-old car. But I don't think it's fair. If they oh, no, you think it's fair for you to tell them it's 700 and then tell them it's 1,400 and then tell them it's 2,800 and then tell them it's, now it's five. No, and, when, and, and keep going because if we wait another another summer or, or another few months, it's going to be 10. I mean, when I told them the 700, whatever I didn't is, have I, I got, Listen, 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 listen. Other than showing me this, which, which shows me that you had a leak in your sunroof like pretty much anybody with a 14-year-old sunroof will have, and yeah. sho showing me this, okay, what evidence do you have of physical damage to the top that would justify $5,000? Because okay. I'm going to assume that the kids are, in fact, crawling over your car to get to the backyard. I'm yeah. going to assume that that's happened. Yeah, but I've witnessed them standing on my driver's side mirror, dancing on it. And when I came out, right. I literally... You, you strike me as the kind of woman who would witness them dancing on the, the mirror and dancing on the car and not not at multiple times and never call the and police. And immediately I told them I didn't yeah. want to take it to the police. And if you read the statements... Do you feel like you're not responsible for any of it? Or, or do you feel like you're responsible for something? I don't feel like we're responsible for any of it. But we really agreed to give her 350 from the from the get-go. But like for her to just try to sue us, I, I, I can't even. For 5,600, according to her, the even, damage is $5,660 for the, for the, the leaky sign. The value of that vehicle is only like $3,000. Do you have, a, do you have any, a picture of a hanging headliner that needs replacing? I'm sorry. Why does a headliner need replacing here? I don't even know what Okay, well, you know what? You is. can't just bring me this jacked up thing and not explain it. You, I, I, look, here's how it works. I need to see some damage physically that would come from stepping, as opposed to what every sunroof that's 14 years old and leaks has, which is just the leaky seal. Because what I'm seeing is the leaky seal issue. And I'm seeing a really bloated estimate for the leaky seal issue. It's not just the leaky seal, it's the frame. And the reason you can't see the frame because they literally have to take the roof apart for them to pull out the sunroof for you to see it. And I if cannot- I, if, I, if, I, if I can't see it, how can they see it? And, and they pay for it, for something that nobody can see. The mechanic went up on top himself and he opened up the sunroof window when he pulled down the frame from the outside that was broken. That's a and perfect he, time to take a picture. And he looked inside and he told me that the module frame was broken. I also have messages between me and Stephanie. She never denied the damages. I have witnesses of other neighbors that Great. witnessed these kids. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna order you truck. to pay her $350. If half of the initial estimate of $700 was good enough for you then, it's good enough for me now. $350, that is my ruling, good luck. Wow. Wow. So the plaintiff gets a judgment for $350. It's a lot less than she was seeking. Do you think it's fair? Oh, absolutely. That's, that's, the car is not even worth $3,000. Like, why would anyone pay any more than that? All right. Do you feel that's okay yourself? At 350 is okay. Just, you know, it's okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So be it. Thank you very much. You have a few documents to sign back there. We appreciate you speaking with us. All right, Ms. Vickers, step out here. I, you were shocked when she said $350. She didn't even give me a chance to listen to my case. She didn't even look at most of the evidence I have. Let me ask you a question. That's crazy. <laughs> I saw the picture. You said you couldn't move the vehicle. Couldn't you have pushed it back? You said it didn't run. Couldn't I'm you have pushed it? I'm supposed to push that truck back. And if you see the backyard, it goes around. Okay. My truck couldn't get in the backyard. All right. Okay. This place is too tight. Well, sorry. That's the judge's decision. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> I That's need it. my... Uh, Harvey, statement. she's not happy at all. She is not happy, Doug. Uh, look. Uh, this law about parental liability, it varies from state to state. In some states, parents are liable only when the kid does something malicious. In other states, if the kid is negligent, tough luck for the parents.